good morning students actually we are discussing the motion of connected bodies we have come almost towards the end of this chapter that is the laws of motion we have come almost towards the end of it of this chapter so motion of connected bodies i have told you the conditions and everything regarding the motion of the connected bodies i hope all of you remember that so today in our discussion i have given you or i have discussed with you two basic cases but today's discussion is slightly different this is the third case here suppose a mass m1 is placed on a table i am not considering friction it is tied to a uh, it is tied to a string which is passing over the uh, fixed pulley and then it is moving through a movable pulley and it goes here to a rigid support and a mass m2 is also hanging from here mass m2 is hanging by with the help of the another string obviously we know that as long as the string is the same the tension will remain the same string is the same in this portion tension t will remain the same here string has changed tension has changed t dash if i release this mass m2 it will go down it will go down it will move down ठीक है it will move down now we have to consider one thing suppose this mass when it is going down suppose this mass is moving right side by the distance x try to follow me this mass m1 is moving towards right by the distance x then this whole thing will move by the distance x the string that means in both the portions the string will be moving by x by 2 and this is why this mass m2 will also go down by the distance x by 2 this is a very important point if this mass is moving by the distance x then this mass will move down by the distance x by 2 because both the sides of the string both the segments of the string on both the sides of the pulley will move by the distance x by 2 so this mass m2 will also move down by the distance x by 2 this is why if the acceleration of m1 i consider a then the acceleration of this m2 should be a by 2 half of the previous if it is a then it is a by 2 keeping in mind this thing in such a question this technique is to be used keeping in mind all these things now we move let us use abd for m1 very simple t is equal to m1 a not at all difficult take a abd for m2 you know the technique m2g minus t dash is equal to m2 into a by 2 and one more equation will be formed that is t dash is equal to 2t t dash equal to 2t these three equations will be formed suppose we have been asked to find out the acceleration of m1 and m2 then what to do obviously we have to solve we have to solve from here i will get it uh, twice m2 g minus twice t dash equal to m2 into a or now equation 3 if we put it here twice m2 g minus Minus four t equal to m two a. All right. What I have written see twice m two g minus uh, t dash in place of t dash I write two t from equation number three. Then how much we shall get? We are getting this. I write this as equation number four. Okay. Adding one. And now, by by equation one, what we get? Uh, it is four t should be four four t should be four uh, m one a. 
I write in equation number 5. Now adding equation 4 and 5. Adding 4 and 5. What we get? We shall get twice m2 g is equal to a times 4 m1 plus m2. So a is equal to twice m2 g by 4 m1 plus m2 obviously this is the acceleration of the first mass and what is a by 2 that is equal to m2 g divided by 4 m1 plus m2 these two are the answers this is the acceleration of the first mass this is the acceleration of the second mass look accelerations of the first mass and the acceleration of the second mass both we are getting very simple that this way we can work it out it is simple way of working it out this is about the motion of the connected bodies this part most important point is if this is moving by the distance x this is moving down by the distance x by 2 so the acceleration here is a here is a by that technique should always be kept in the mind. Fine. Now, a practical application I want to discuss. I, a practical application of this free body diagram or the motion of connected bodies that is a horse and cart problem. A very important thing. It is a horse and cart problem. What is this? It is a cart. Okay. This is a horse. Suppose capital M and small m are the mass of uh, or rather masses of masses of cart and horse respectively fine respectively here is the horse it is pulling so tension here also T this is also T because there is a mutual tension cart will also give a tension horse will also give a tension and same tension in the string or the rope and here this direction f frictional force this frictional force f will act in this direction right and here is a obviously here in this direction the weight and this direction the normal reaction r dash here the weight will be equal they will balance each other W is equal to R dash by Newton's law. W is the weight of the cart and R dash is the downward reaction of the cart. They will cancel each other. They don't, uh, they will not contribute anything in the motion. So I am not considering it. Fine. What will happen? When the horse will move, when the horse will run, then the feet of the horse will press the ground obliquely. You know, oblique at some inclination in this way. It is, it is pressing the ground obliquely, obliquely, I say, it is pressing the ground obliquely. So what happens, a reaction passes through the body of the horse and this reaction can be resolved into two components, one is the horizontal component, another is the vertical component, vertical component V, horizontal component H, it is V and H are vertical and horizontal horizontal components components of reaction of reaction R ठीक है and obviously vertical component will be balanced by the weight mg here V should be equal to Balanced. Is Kamatlab? The horse will move straight. Horse will move forward due to the horizontal component. Very important. The horizontal component is the So horse will move forward due to the horizontal component. Okay? And if small a is the acceleration of the system. I am talking about the system, you know, the system, the system is the whole thing, whole thing is coming under the system, 
then how can we apply FBD for uh, horse? Let us now apply FBD for horse. H minus T, H minus T is equal to M into A. Look, FBD for horse is H minus T, okay, here on this H forward T in the backward direction is equal to M into A, right? And what about the FBD for card? Now we can apply the FBD for card. It will be H minus T, sorry, it is T minus F is equal to capital M into A. Therefore, T minus F, frictional force, T minus F. Then what we shall get? Adding, adding. What we shall get? We shall get here H minus F is equal to capital M plus small m into A. So A is equal to H minus F by capital M plus small m. Look, this we are getting. Right, this is the acceleration. This is the acceleration we are getting here. See? So this is the complete thing. Acceleration and obviously for A to be positive, what should be there? H should be greater than small f. If I want to see that A value is positive, then H should be greater than small f. Then it can happen. H value is small f from greater than small f. Okay? H value means the forward component that should be greater than small f. Then only the acceleration will be positive and it will go forward. Move forward. I hope all of you understood it. Right?